When comparing or ordering integers, it really helps to think of a number line. It doesn't matter where on the number line you are, two things are for certain. One, when you move to the right on a number line, the values increase. And naturally, when you move to the left, the values decrease. That is really, really important to think of and understand. Anytime you move to the right, the values increase. To the left, they decrease. With that in mind, let's get to the first example. Compare negative four and two. All right, so naturally, you probably guessed I'm gonna use a number line to help me figure this out. Uh, so I'm just gonna start with my arrows at both ends, which is really important. And now normally, if you're not super comfortable with drawing number lines, you might wanna put zero right in the middle just to help kind of orientate, uh, orientate yourself. Uh, but if you are pretty comfortable, you could pick one of these values. So for me, I'm gonna start with negative four. Um, I know negative four is gonna be left of negative two on the, on the number line because it's negative, right? The negative integers are to the left of zero, positive are to the right. So I'm gonna start with negative four uh, down here. I don't need to go any less than that because I don't need to compare a number less than negative four. Uh, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to, because I only have to go to two, I'm just going to count by ones, making sure that my spacing is consistent. So that would be negative three, negative two, and that would be two. So negative four would be here, and positive two would be here. Well, we know that as you move to the right on the number line, the values increase. And as you move to the left, the values decrease, which means negative four has to be less than two because it's to the left of two on the number line. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people uh, kind of get in the habit of just thinking this is maybe just one symbol and you just switch the numbers around. No, no, no. There are two symbols. There's a less than symbol that looks like this, and I always think about it, we read left to right, right? When we read a sentence, we read left to right, if you're reading English, I should say. Um, so I just remember it as left to right, if the small end is first, that's less than, and then the other one, left to right, you see the big end, some people think it's like the alligator open its mouth. That is greater than. So there's actually two different symbols. Uh, just making sure everybody understands that. All right, let's try another example. Okay, we're comparing two numbers again, but this time I'm gonna draw a vertical number line just to show you kind of how that looks a little bit different. So we're comparing three and negative five. Uh, same thing, we need arrows again, but this time I'm drawing it vertical, which really doesn't change much. So I'm gonna draw my vertical number line. Uh, I'm gonna, I know three is positive. Now the positive integers are gonna be above instead of positive integers to the right of zero. Now we have a vertical number line. Positive integers are above zero, negative would be below. All right, so I'm gonna start with three all the way at the top of my number line. So there is three. Uh, so here is negative three, and here is negative five. So again, how can this help us compare them? Well, negative three is above negative five on the number line, which means three is greater than negative five. All right, hopefully that helps. Here are some to try on your own. All right, here's our last example. Order the integers from least to greatest. So here are our integers. We've got some negatives. We got uh, one positive, I guess, and we've got zero. So again, I'm gonna use a number line to help me kind of figure this out. As you get more kind of comfortable with this, you might not even need uh, in a number line to help you order these from least to greatest. But for right now, we're gonna make one. Uh, so again, here we go. We've got my arrows like that. Now, just because there's zero doesn't mean I have to put zero right in the middle. 
um, that might kind of limit me with space. If I look, I know I have to go all the way down to, it looks like negative eight uh, would be my least, and then it looks like three is my greatest. So I probably need more space on the negative side. So when I'm making this, I'm actually gonna start with this negative eight. So negative eight is gonna be all the way on the left of the number line, right? Because it's my least. Uh, so it needs to go all the way to the left. And then I'm gonna count up from there. Um, Let's see, we'll just count by ones. That's hopefully fine. All right, so there is my number line done. So now I'm just gonna graph. So I've got negative eight is right here. Put my point on the number line. I've got three is all the way up here on the number line, then negative five right there, zero right here, and finally negative two. Right there, so just double checking, one, two, three, four, five points, one, two, three, four, five integers. So we're good there, and now I'm just ready to put them in order. I need to go from least to greatest. So my least is gonna be whatever is farthest to the left on the number line. Remember the values decrease as we move to the left. So negative eight then would be my least, and now as I'm moving to the right, the values are increasing until we get to the greatest. So just move along my number line. Negative five would be next, then negative two, then zero, and finally three is the greatest. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Always double check to make sure you didn't miss any numbers. And clocks your answer. Here's a few to try on your own.